Nate, is it possible to summarize what you think you got out of these four games and how you think things stand right now? Well, we, as I told our guys, I, I was happy with the training camp. I thought that uh, they did uh, pretty much everything that we asked them to do. They came in, they worked uh, extremely hard uh, every day uh, that we've practiced. Uh, I thought the games, they played hard, but we're not close to where we we uh, we need to be uh, in order to uh, you know win some games and uh, but uh, I, I love their effort uh, and we know we got to continue to work to uh, condition ourselves and to uh, get sharper on our execution um, on both ends of the floor. What are your primary concerns right now? Well, just chemistry, you know, uh, chemistry, uh, you know, out there on the floor and. Uh, guys getting the feel for uh, each other and the sets that we're calling. Uh, you know, I thought tonight uh, and really the last two games has been a lot more one-on-one -on -one play uh, as opposed to the, the, the quick ball movement that we had in that first game. Uh, we're, we're holding on to the ball, and uh, guys are looking for their opportunities. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, I think we can, um, you know, do a better job of uh, challenging every catch. But uh, there are some times where we're gambling and we're overplaying and giving up layups and back doors, and the weak side is not uh, connected on this. So it's, it's a lot, a lot of work that we uh, have to do. But uh, you know, uh, the, the effort. You know, when you're getting that effort, uh, you know, that's a good thing. I think you, we can clean up, you know, some of the mistakes that we're making. Do you think generally in the half court offense, the willingness to pass has been there? I mean, 23 turnovers tonight, but. Uh, and you mentioned more one-on-one -on -one tonight, but it seemed like over the course of four games that perhaps the willingness to move the ball was better than last year. Yeah, but I think we're, at times we're, we're playing in traffic. And, again, you know, and, and part of that, those turnovers are not knowing each other and just building that chemistry uh, out on the floor and knowing where guys are going to be and, uh, you know, getting to their spots and uh, where they are effective uh, from. And, you know, all of that will come. Uh, the longer, uh, the more we play together. What were your impressions of Sabonis in these four games? I think he's a solid player. Uh, I, I really like him. Uh, you know, he just brings a calmness uh, to the game uh, when he's out on the floor. You know, both he and Lance have really uh, connected uh, really well. Uh, TJ with that second group, uh, you know, they, they've uh, done some really good things. Uh, with that, with uh, in that second group, and you know it comes with uh, with Sabonis uh, handling the ball, setting screens. Uh, you know he's making good decisions once he catches the ball in the paint. Uh, but you know his basketball IQ is very high, and uh, I think he just makes players better uh, because he understands the game. You mentioned Sabonis and Lance in, in the kind of the two-man game and how quickly they've been able to click. Does that kind of remind you of what Lance did with Seraphin last year towards the end of the year? It is very similar. And, you know, I think with, uh, with uh, Sabonis, um, his feel uh, for the pick and roll, you know, Lance is more than a willing passer in that. And, you know, that's a very effective play when you have two guys who uh, can execute uh, that particular play. It's a difficult play to uh, guard uh, with uh, Sabonis' ability to uh, shoot and pass and handle the ball. Uh, you know, we like to involve him in that a lot. How do you plan to approach this next week, tomorrow off, I assume? And w Anything in particular you really want to focus on beyond we, chemistry? We, we, we have a lot of work to do, and uh, we got to get sharper, uh, you know, uh, both defensively as well as offensively. You know, tonight they had uh, they really picked us apart in the pick and roll. Uh, had 26 points in the paint. I thought we overplayed uh, a few times and, and, and gambled and gave up layups. Uh, and, you know, 26 points in the paint in the first half is just way too many points. We did a better job second half. I think they finished with 42 in the paint. Um, but, you know, we got to work on both sides of the ball. Uh, Victor made his first four three-pointers. Uh, just curious what you've seen from his shooting stroke since he's been here, and if he does, he has improved each year in that area as far as the shooting percentage. If he continues to do that, how big could that be for him and for the team? Well, you know, any time he is coming off screens or if he has the ball, uh, especially in transition, 
I want him to look to be aggressive and look to attack. And, you know, what I've seen from him uh, in the games and uh, in practice uh, is no hesitation. You know, if he, if he has that shot, he's taking that shot. And uh, that's what we want him to do. Uh, the only way he's going to improve uh, that part of his game is to be aggressive and take that shot when he's there. You guys obviously asking Miles to do a lot of things this year, um, and you want him to stay on the floor. Is is there any concern with you know the type of fouls he, he had? One you know where he contested a long jumper. Is that a concern of yours, or not that you know Miles staying out of foul trouble on a consistent basis? Well, we want him to play aggressive basketball. We want him to be smart, uh, but we don't want him you know basically giving anything uh, out there in the sense that uh, you know you're trying not to foul and you're giving up layups or, or points. Be smart. I thought, you know, sometimes you get caught uh, in situations where you're just in the wrong place. And, uh, you know, what he has to do is work harder to get to the right place uh, and right position so that he can avoid those fouls. But, you know, you're going to have games like that. Uh, he's got to learn to, uh, you know, when he gets to, uh, you know, be solid without picking up that third in the first half. You mentioned guys learning each other. Are you past the point where you're still learning them, or is that still a process for you Absolutely too? not. You know, it's, it, it is uh, it's a lot of learning for me. Uh, the rotation and the combinations and, uh, you know, the play calling, uh, you know, getting guys involved and where to go and who can do what. So, uh, no, uh, it's, it's just beginning for me. Well, what stands out about things you have liked through the first four, I guess, the four preseason games? I like our, I like our energy, and I like that these guys, uh, they've worked together. You know, so I, 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 as I told them uh, uh, just a few uh, minutes ago, I, I, I think we have guys that are going to put in the work, and they've certainly worked throughout this training camp. They've committed to that. Uh, you know, there's, at times we've, we've done a little t too much talking, but they've committed to working, and I think uh, as long as you're getting the effort, uh, the other things you'll get better at. You know, you'll get better at the ex execution. You'll get better with your chemistry. Uh, you'll get better at all aspects of the game uh, as long as that effort is there. And they have given me the effort, I feel, throughout this training camp uh, and in these four games. And with TJ, like you said, you, you, you like him in that second unit going into the Raiders? Right yeah, you know, he, he's learning, you know, uh, uh, to play and uh, he's getting comfortable I think each time he goes out uh, on the floor so yes we do like him uh, at the four position